हेलो एवरी वन वेलकम टू स्किल्स बिल्ड ट्रेनिंग यूट्यूब चैनल माई सेल्फ मोहम्मद जुबैर एंड दिस चैनल इज ऑल अबाउट शोइंग यू हाउ टू बिकम एन आई टी प्रो रेडी फैस सो द टॉपिक ऑफ टूडे इज वीडियो इज फाइव ऑसम यू बर्न टू बेस्ड लिनिक्स डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन यू मस्ट ट्राई सो बेसिकली इन टूडे इज वीडियो I will take you to a tour of five Ubuntu based Linux distribution which are really awesome in terms of their features and in terms of their usability so stay with me and without any further ado let's get started well Ubuntu is a Linux distribution which is one of the most powerful customizable and most used linux distribution out there we have several linux distribution which are based on ubuntu well ubuntu based linux distributions are one of the most used distributions out there well question is why is that because of the flexibility customization ease of use and easy on hardware resources are the reason why people go for ubuntu and ubuntu based linux distributions are one of the oldest out there and because of that we have a lot of community support for all the ubuntu based linux distribution and even though if you have a ubuntu based linux distribution and it is a new one obviously you will not have a community support for it but as it is based on ubuntu so more than 95% of your problem will get solved if you apply all the solution which are applicable on other ubuntu based linux distribution as your new system also belong to the ubuntu family so that was a brief introduction about ubuntu now let's go ahead and start with our first ubuntu based linux distribution and after that i will introduce you to four more well the first ubuntu based linux distribution which i am going to talk about now is the elementary operating system it is one of the most easiest ubuntu based linux distribution which one can install and as you know that many user come from windows or mac operating system to linux so for them it is very easy to use and very easy to understand so let me go to my system settings i will go there in here i will click on system here you can see it says built on ubuntu 20.04.1 lts so it is ubuntu based linux distribution and as i have told you it is really easy to understand and really easy to use i will go back and here i'll go into security and privacy so here you can see we have firewall built in or you can say by default in our elementary operating system well in most of the linux based distribution you have to install the firewall on your own other than that there are many applications which are really easy to use and which are really helpful for daily user like we have app center from where we can download different packages and we can download different application for our use and after that we have a mail client in it as well and down here we have an option which says multitasking view means if you are working on something what you can do you can separate those tasks on the basis of their similarity so what i will do now i will click on this multitasking view and here you can see i have another view which is on the right side of my screen so this is one of the best thing which is available in elementary operating system the second ubuntu based linux distribution which everyone must try is linux mint in linux mint we get a lot of applications like as you can see here we have a list of applications here and good thing is they have categorized all those application in different categories like if you want to search for an application which is related to internet just hover over the internet and here you have all the information which are related to the internet and the good thing about linux mint is we get firefox as default web browser other than that we also have libre office here you can see we have all the collection which is related to libre office in here and apart from all these application we get a lot of customization options in linux mint linux distribution so i will right click here and here you can see it says customize so just click on it 
what it will do it will allow you to do a lot of customization in your system another thing is go to your application menu and search for settings here it is here it says system settings so just click on it and here you can see we have a lot of options or you can say a lot of tweaks which we can perform for our system here we have backgrounds option we have font selection even we have themes which we can set or choose for our linux mint now if i search for software here you can see that we have synaptic package manager available here by default in many linux distribution like i was using arc linux the earlier day i did not have the synaptic manager by default in it but in linux mint we have synaptic manager by default available in this linux distribution with the help of synaptic manager you can download a lot of packages and you can do a lot of updates in your system which you cannot do without it apart from all these application these features these customization option it is one of the easiest ubuntu based linux distribution which everyone can use as you can see its layout just looks like a windows layout so for those who are coming from windows even from mac operating system it will be really easy for them to use this ubuntu based linux distribution and apart from that it is really easy on your hardware as well as it requires only one gigabyte of your ram and only 15 gigabytes from your hard disk so that was all about linux mint now let's move on to our third ubuntu based linux distribution the third ubuntu based linux distribution in my list is pop operating system well it is also known as pop os it was developed and maintained by system 76 pop os is yet another open source distribution which is based on canonical ubuntu pop breathes some fresh air in the user experience with its emphasis on streamlined workflows and there are a lot of keyboard shortcuts and automatic window tiling pop os also has own board software center which is also known as pop shop so if i search for it here you can see we have pop shop in pop shop we have different categories of software or you can say application from which we can select as per our liking here as you can see we have audio communication education games development and a lot of other categories of different softwares and applications so you can download anyone as per your liking a remarkable improvement that pop operating system has made is the bundling of nvidia drivers into the iso image even at the download screen as you can see on your screen if i click on this download button we get to select between the standard intel amd iso image or you can download the nvidia one here you can see we have the image with the nvidia and here we have the other one so ability of pop operating system 6 to handle the hybrid graphic makes it ideal for gaming if you talk about the default applications here we have mozilla firefox as default web browser then we have file manager and then i have already talked about the pop operating system and also we have a lot of other application which are really necessary and which are really good to use as you can see we have a libre office as default in it as well so if you are a new user pop os is a really good ubuntu based linux distribution to start with and it also has the support for games so that was all about pop operating system now let's move ahead at number four the ubuntu based linux distribution which i have chosen is ubuntu budgie as you can see on your screen it is really beautiful and really pleasing to the eyes just forget about the functionalities and features it offers just look at the overview and just look at the desktop here you can see we have different icons here and these icons are the best one i have seen yet in ubuntu based linux distribution now let's talk about different features and applications which are available in this ubuntu based linux distribution i will go to my application menu here i have different applications which are available in here so let's search for firefox yes we do have firefox web browser available as a default web browser in our ubuntu budgie now let's see if we have LibreOffice. yes we do have LibreOffice in it as well as a default document tool after that let us explore the rest of the applications which are available in our ubuntu budgie 
here we have celluloid and let's see for email client what do we have so i will search here for email and here it is we have thunderbird as a default mail client in our ubuntu budgie after that if i right click on my screen here i have several other options like i can change desktop background i can go to desktop settings i can do several other things from here even i can reach terminal from here so let's go to desktop setting and let's see what does it offer. So here you can see these options are all new in this Ubuntu based Linux distribution. As far as I remember, I have not seen these option like this in Ubuntu based Linux distribution, especially with the genome desktop environment. From here, we can do different styling. We can do some tweaks with the desktop. We can select different fonts. We have here Windows settings and then we have several other options here as well. Let's open the settings of the system. Here it is. I will open it and more or less this is the same just like any other Ubuntu based Linux distribution with genome desktop environment because we get all of these options in almost every Ubuntu based Linux distribution. So there is nothing new. But one thing which is very noticeable here is the color combination and the look of application. This is very interesting and very pleasing to the eyes and it has very absorbing feel. So I like this one very much. So if you are a new to Linux operating system, you must try Ubuntu Budgie for once at least. So that was all about Ubuntu Budgie. I hope now you would have liked this one as I have liked it. So we will leave it here and now let's move ahead to our last Ubuntu based Linux distribution. Well, last but not the least Ubuntu based Linux distribution, which I have kept for you is Ubuntu itself. Well, I kept it at the last because I wanted to make things exciting and interesting. If you are planning to shift to Linux distribution or Linux operating system, then Ubuntu is the one from which you should start using Linux distribution. Because among all the Linux distribution which are out there, either they are Ubuntu based or not, Ubuntu itself is the most easiest and the most used Linux distribution which has been used by the people. Well, the question is why it is used mostly by the people? Well, first of all, it is really easy to understand and really easy to use. And secondly, it offers a lot of functionalities and a lot of customization as per your need. If we talk about its feature, here we have Mozilla Firefox as default web browser and Thunderbird as a default mail. If we talk about the applications or software means from where you can download it, we have Ubuntu software in it. From here, we can download any software or any application as per our liking or as per our need. Apart from that, Ubuntu itself offers workspaces. For example, if I click on a Windows button here, here you can see we have small window appeared on our right side. Now what I will do, I will click on my files here. Now again, if I press my windows button, I can drag it and I can drop it into the second windows, which is appeared here. Now, as you can see, I have three windows appeared here. What I can do now, I can shift between these windows to use anyone at a time. So this is one of the very cool feature in Ubuntu. Apart from that, we get LibreOffice in it as well as a default document tool. And apart from all these functionalities and features, Ubuntu is a very light machine and it doesn't require as much your hardware resources and it performs really better and it has really optimized performance even under the severe circumstances. And as you can see on your screen that it is really simple and it is really soothing to the eyes. Here you have notification center and your dates. Here you have control center from where you can shut down your system. You can restart your system and you have several other things here. So that's it for this video. I hope now you can make a decision in a better way that from which Ubuntu based Linux distribution, you should start using Linux operating system. I hope this video was helpful. If that is the case, please leave a like and subscribe to our channel as this channel is all about showing you how to become an IT pro really fast. If you have something to ask, please leave a comment below 
we will get back to you as soon as possible so till the next video take care we will see you in another video